Hey y'all, welcome to Craftable Things. I'm Patrice and we are going to be super quick today. The other night I hosted a live where I showcased a few of the amazing things that the new Cricut Hat Press can do. And I forgot to mention or at least show y'all DTF and someone in the chat reminded me. And so that is what I am going to show y'all now if this will work with DTF. And so I just finished powdering the image I printed. I'm about to put that image into the convection oven in order to cure it. Once it is done curing, we are then going to get ready to apply this to the hat just to see. If you want to learn more about DTF, check out my other DTF videos featuring the Epson EcoTank 8550 and you will get an idea of what DTF is. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. We are going to turn on our hat press and I'm going to put it to the second notch. I am not going to be using the app for this since we are going to be applying something that you know isn't inside of the app. So first I want to go ahead and give this a lint roll but I really think I just want to go ahead and lint roll it onto the hat form and this is the Cricut hat form and so I just want to fit the cap on top of the hat form very snug and this is a used hat i wanted to just try it out and if it didn't work i didn't really want to waste a new hat so i've had this hat for years y'all years all right so typically i would press this dtf transfer at 325 degrees for about 15 seconds so we are going to stay around that same uh, temperature the second notch is around 330 degrees fahrenheit so i may press it for about um, i think i'm still going to do 15 because i am applying the pressure manually and so with my heat press you know and flat surfaces it applies the pressure for me. So I am just going to get ready to tape this on. I will be using the Cricut heat tape, the strong grip heat, heat tape for this. All right, so we are going to get ready to just snip this because our hat press is ready. And I'm just trying to snip it just so that it's easier for me to curve. And I'm just going to take that off. I'm doing this, but I'm not cutting any. That one didn't make sense, but here we go. So that way I can kind of lay it better on there. And this is looking somewhat centered. So we are going to go ahead and get our heat tape and again this is the Cricut brand strong heat resistant tape so I'm just gonna tape around the edges I want to make sure that it is nice and secure when I get ready to place the hat press on top however with this particular method the adhesive on the back I'm sure as soon as that heat makes contact with it, it is going to make it stay in place. But I do want to be careful. This is my first time um, even using DTF on a hat. So I'm just being very, very cautious. And by snipping the image so that it rounds, that really helps you to be able to form the image around the round hat. All right, so I just wanted to let you guys know that, but we are going to get ready to press our hat. So now we are going to get ready to press the hat and we are going to just press it this way. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will be good. Unlike what they suggest, I am just going to apply direct heat and pressure to the areas of the image for a few seconds instead of rotating it. 
I ended up pressing each part of the image for about 30 seconds each. And I was really trying to apply some pressure because this gave me the opportunity to kind of like look at it a little bit more to see where the plate was actually making contact and where it wasn't and how I was holding the hat form. So that all plays a part in how you apply vinyl or sublimation or infusible ink or even DTF. All right, because I noticed when I was pressing, you see I was not hitting that bottom left corner and so heat was not being applied there. So I had to make sure that I applied heat directly to that area because I did not want it not to stick to the hat. But that's what I did and I'm a little bit of a weak link. So it, you know, I, I, I wanted to make sure that I was applying the appropriate amount of pressure so that we could have a good outcome with DTF. And I, of course, forgot to peel this off on camera. I forgot to press play. So I'm so sorry that I did not catch that part on camera. All right, and so we are going to wait for this to cool off because this is a cold peel. And then we are going to press it a second time if it actually does transfer. Yep, so it transferred and we are on to the second part of the press. And I cut a piece of parchment paper and place it on top. This is important if you really want that DTF to look like it is a part of whatever material that you're using. It will blend in with that fabric. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm pressing it. Typically, you only need to press it for about seven seconds, seven to 10 seconds. I am applying a little bit of pressure and pressing it for a little longer than that. And we are going to see how this looks. And y'all, I am very impressed with the outcome that DTF is nicely adhered to the hat. It feels very, very smooth. And I couldn't be more pleased with how the Cricut hat press transferred this DTF image to this hat. I just want to give you all some close-up shots of it so you can, can really see that it is nicely adhered to the hat. It looked like I overdid it with a little bit of the adhesive, but y'all, I love this hat. So there we have it. DTF works. Thanks to whoever suggested that I give it a try. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In addition, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to see you there. But that is going to be it for today, y'all. This was super quick. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time.